Oh yeah, baby. Happy holidays to everybody out there. Yep, I got my Undertaker snow hat on. So I'm feeling a little bit festive here. This is just a crazy little update video. And I'm gonna talk more about the Turbo Graphics 16 because I love the system, you know? I got every game back there. I got like a whole bunch of them in the bots and all that cool stuff. Oh, and we even got a little visitor here. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. This is Oscar. All right, I'm stalling here, but I'll get back on my point now. I just wanted to feed the kitty. 2023, not the best year for me. <laughs> uh, you know, we're just getting off COVID and everything. I haven't been too busy at the 400 market where I sell my video games on the weekend, but I don't know, it's still been okay. I'm not like totally broke or anything and I appreciate you guys and girls coming down to my little shop and helping me out. It has been kind of like a slow year and yeah I just want to focus on season and everything. You can't focus on it now because outside even though I'm here in Canada the weather is great like <laughs> there's no snow on the ground whatsoever it's like spring out. My cat loves it. Figured there's a lot to talk about because I do like a year in review sort of thing. One big thing for the TurboGrafx-16 in 2023, and this happened recently, is the Dual Analog just came out. So this is a aftermarket TurboGrafx-16 slash Dual system where you can play all your TurboGrafx-16 Turbo Dual CDs and even Super Graphic games all on one unit. So that's awesome. And it's cool that Analog themselves are releasing something for kind of a niche market because I love the TurboGrafx-16. I'll make any crazy video on it. I made a top 10 list of the worst names. <laughs> that's how far I'm reaching to make a video on TurboGrafx-16, but it deserves it, you know? It's an underrated system. So many great gains for it. So many underrated titles that need to be played. Right Oscar? Yeah, now I'll show this off. This is my Turbo Duo itself. Yeah, this is the real deal. Yeah, that's a problem. Getting this system, getting one that's working, getting an uh, analog system with HDMI out that can pretty much work on ATV, doesn't have the problems with breaking down all the time. Well, that I know of anyways. <laughs> It might be a good alternative to getting like the classic Turbo Duo, which I love, you know, it's a great system and everything. But yeah, it's older technology and it's gonna break eventually. And I also like to support any <laughs> new Turbo Graphics 16 related products out there, whether it be homebrew games or something like that. I just wanna talk about them and spread the love of the Turbo Graphics 16. When this system came out like a few years ago, it was awesome. 57 games, a new way to play your TurboGrafx-16, but sadly it's, you know, one and done. <laughs> There's going to be no talk of a sequel or anything like that. Maybe we get the legendary ads, Magical Chase, Keith Kirch and Alpha Zones. Maybe we'll get those on a new duel or new mini, but I don't see it happening. I think this is probably the worst selling of the mini consoles out there and that's <laughs> kind of surprising because the PlayStation Mini is out there and it sucked ass. <laughs> but even though a lot of people think this was a great mini and everything, not a lot of people had the TurboGrafx-16 so it can be kind of a tough sell to people. Where you know PlayStation, Super Nintendo, <laughs> original Nintendo. They sold well into the tens of millions, even hundred millions. Easy to find a market for those and that's why they had no problems to sell out of the original Nintendo and Super Nintendo. You know, PlayStation Mini, <laughs> they shot themselves in the foot. They just made way too many of them. They thought it was going to be a big hit and it bombed. Where this bombed for a different reason. It was a great system, but again, more people need to understand the awesomeness of the TurboGrafx-16. Yeah. Unlike the television Miko, which didn't come out, here you get 
some preload gains in here and some absolute bangers. Like Air Zonk, Q Man Fu, Soldier Blade, <laughs> Draculette's a Rondo of Blood. Oh yeah, I see all those, these gains here. I just want to play them again. And yeah, if you're ever on Twin Galaxies, see if you can beat some of my records. Yeah, that's another thing I've been doing last year. I got some big world records on some big TurboGrafx 16 titles. And that's another reason why I didn't get the Analog Mini. You know, I got nothing against the product or anything. But as you know, I'm kind of broke. Had to get a new vehicle this year. Don't have a lot of money. So I can't buy some that's like $200, $300 right now. Even though it looks very cool, it's something that I also don't really need because I got the real system back here. And when I'm playing my games online, I can't play them on an aftermarket unit. Even though analog is supposed to be very high quality and everything, it's still not the real deal. And when I'm playing games on Twin Galaxies Game World Records, they want you know the real games on the real system. We're on North American TV and all that shit. I gotta get my, all my bases covered. If I'm playing on an aftermarket unit like an analog system, it might be considered illegal hardware and I may not get that world record. So I gotta play it on the real unit. So there's not really too much incentive for me to get an analog system right now. It sounds cool and it sounds like a great alternative to people that don't have a real duel. You know, they don't work the best on newer TVs. You don't get the ability to add scan lines or save features and all that stuff. It depends on what your situation is. Yeah, I really haven't done too much with my TurboGrafx 16 collection. <laughs> it's pretty much good as it is. One thing I did change though is that. Okay, here I have Key Courage and Alpha Zones. And when you get the gains for TurboGrafx 16, you get them with this plastic sleeve. Now, yeah, over the years, I have noticed that these sleeves have been changing color. Yeah, they're kind of slimy inside. So maybe it's not the best idea to have my TurboGrafx 16 gains in these little plastic sleeves. They're great protection and everything. Make sure your gains don't bounce around and everything. But one thing I did to rectify the situation, yeah, I got this Pokemon binder here, and this includes all my TurboGrafx 16 games. So I can get them ready to play at a moment's notice. <laughs> yeah, just a way to protect them. Yeah, I don't got the slimy residue on those plastic sleeves anymore. Now I got them in card form. Yeah. Instead of like a Charizard or a, I don't know, whatever the Digimons are in this Pokemon book. <laughs> I got TurboGrafx 16 games. I want to preserve the history of the TurboGrafx 16. Of course, not all of them are great. I can think of a few of Bossimal. Yeah, and of course, yeah, Gumbo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it took me actually a while to figure out some bad ones out there. Deep Blue, Vulcan, but there's so many other great titles I've been playing as late. Tricky Kick, you know, I'm still playing Soldier Blade. <laughs> yeah, and even Keep Courage is not that bad. But it's a shame too that this game isn't on the mini. So that's why it's good having a real TurboGrafx 16 by your side. So yeah, 2023, <laughs> I'm kind of glad it's over, but I did get some cool TurboGrafx 16 stuff this year. <laughs> yeah, got this out of Jody. He actually, yeah, repaired my duel a few years ago, so it's up and running now. Yeah, yeah I got this cool gift from Jason. Yeah, this is a TurboGrafx 16 board. <laughs> so that's awesome. It's in TurboGrafx 16 graphication, you know? <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. There's a brick as well. Another cool gift that I got that was 
TurboGrafx it's a team related is this yeah if you know me yeah I'm the Bonds Adventure World Champion but I also got other world records and other bonk games like Bonds Revenge you guys and girls out there play this game it's awesome see if you can beat my world record if not just play the game because it's a good Bonds Adventure game this is probably one of the best bonk games out there it's so underrated you know okay, another cool thing I got this year was this PC Engine book. Oh yeah. This is an index of all the PC Engine releases out there. Oh, it smells good. Get a little bit of artwork, a little bit of description, review. Oh yeah, very cool. A great index. Yeah, this is so I can learn more about some of the games over in Japan. Like, Sinistron is known as Violent soldier over there on that side of the world. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Yeah, you get to learn about a little bit of censorship that maybe <laughs> we experience here in the West because games like Splatterhouse, Rick wears a white mask on the PC Engine version and red mask in the North American version. Again, I don't want to whine too much because it has been an okay year for me, not the best. Eh, not the worst, but I still want to wish everybody out there happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, happy cold weather day, happy festivities for the rest of us, <laughs> and all that cool shit. You know, thanks everybody again who stopped by our table and bought some stuff. You know, thanks Jason for helping me get some cool topographic seats and stuff. Thanks again, Jody, and yeah. If you watch some of my records on Twin Galaxies, thanks to all those people who watch my Anchor Nights nice footage. <laughs> uh, some of my world records can be pretty boring. <laughs> uh, it took me three hours to beat Natopia, but I got the record. <laughs> so it was definitely worth it. And I hope to get more records in the future. But the problem is I already got tons of records on TurboGrafx 16 games, so yeah, I even got a record on Possible. Nobody cares. <laughs> Both regrets and a major sense of accomplishment because I did a 1cc of that game and nobody's ever done that, I don't think. <laughs> At least not on a championship level, you know? So I got the record on that one. Hopefully I can get a plaque of Impossible. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll get like a new Twin Galaxies certificate. I still want to promote Twin Galaxies because TurboGrafx-16 Twin Galaxies go hand in hand. It's a TG, you know? <laughs> and I want to spread more awareness, get more people riled up. Yep. Don't you want a tattoo like this? <laughs> yeah, see if you can beat my road records out there. I'm challenging you to the test. Yeah, come to battle. Yeah, an analog, if you want to send me a free analog duel. <laughs> yeah, why does uh, Justin Silverman get a free one and I don't? <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> so many people don't know who the hell I am. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm the champ, bitch. I deserve a free duel. Yeah, but if I don't get one, I understand as well. Look at all this cool stuff that I got. I just want to show it off and talk more TurboGrafx 16, even if it's technically filler. Uh, you can't be filler on the TurboGrafx 16, no. So awesome, so underrated. I'm broke now, but I got these games when nobody really cared about them, so I was able to get made them for cheap. <laughs> so if you want to support my channel, support my Patreon, all that sort of stuff. You know, watch my editor videos on the demographics. It's 16. I got a playlist. I got top 10 lists and everything. Got reviews. And I want to see if I can get editor demographics 16 games in the future. I heard Dino Force was pretty cool. There's like a Billy's Bad Day. Ah, so many more games I need to try out, but I need more time. Need more time off work. I got. <laughs> More shifts I gotta do this week, especially since it's the holidays. I gotta do more hours to pay off my stupid vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, this is just a crazy little video. Then you know that the TurboGrafx-16 is awesome. And I'll shut up now, okay? Happy holidays, everybody. 
Yep. Rest in peace. Ah.